As this video provided by the Cleveland Clinic shows topping the list, fireworks safety. Figure out who's lighting up the fireworks, first of all. You know, one of the things we recommend is that is, is for children not to be involved. Urgent care specialist Dr. Alan Kappen says it's best to leave the fireworks shows to the professionals, but if you decide to set some off yourself, location matters. You should be in an open area outside, away from anything that can easily catch fire. If you do have a firework-related injury, he says, don't ice it to relieve the pain. It's not a good idea to add ice. Ice is the enemy. The reason being is that the minute you apply ice, you're decreasing blood flow to the area, which can actually cause more pain and worsen the severity of the burn. Second risk, grilling safety. University of Michigan shared this video with us with a warning about grill brushes. There's no end of options out there. There's still the older uh, traditional metal bristle brush. If you're going to use those, you should inspect them regularly. And they're relatively inexpensive, 10 to $20. So that's something that you can replace regularly if you see any signs of wear or loose bristles. Believe it or not, loose bristles have sent nearly 1,700 people to the emergency room with injuries in the last decade. Finally, foodborne illnesses are still a problem. These can send people to the emergency room due to eating undercooked meat or food that was left out too long. Keep that meat refrigerated until it's ready to cook and then use a meat thermometer. Again, that's a cheap tool, something between $10 and $20 to give you a, a proper indication of the temperature of that food. There's really no substitute for that. And if you consider things like potato salads, coleslaws, things that have cream bases in them, uh, if you leave that out on the, on the uh, picnic table for more than about an hour, the bacterial count starts to grow. You know that saying, when in doubt, throw it out, still stands when it comes to preventing foodborne illness. You can always find our stories here on YouTube, but go ahead and click subscribe to get notifications and stay in the know.